Getting started with Friday the 13th. China winning as West remains paralyzed. This is a program, not a fictional narration. Another update from Br'er Caleb, PhD for Tough Times Never Last, Tough People Do. We give you an unofficial guide to the understanding of what the news means behind the scenes of today's broadcast. The US of A, also known as a foreign-owned United States corporation, according to Benjamin Fulford's December report. Trump disappointed, his job was to wind down and reboot China winning as West remains paralyzed by bloodline versus Illuminati battle. By Benjamin Fulford. The Western world remains paralyzed by an elite civil war, while China keeps getting stronger and stronger and is heading towards absolute dominance. Unless they end the civil war, the Western G6 alliance G7 Japan, will lose the ability to control the United Nations, and the direction humanity chooses for its future. Last week the civil war was on full display as US President Donald Trump didn't fare too well at the NATO meetings in London. He left abrupt after he overheard the Canadian Premier being disrespectful to him, according to European royal family sources. The school playground type of tricks masked that the real topic of the summit was the funding of the US corporate government. The source also said, Trump has been a disappointment, I think. His job was to wind down and reboot. Two reminders that Trump is dealing with more significant issues than keeping a US stock market bubble inflated long enough for his re-election in 2020. One was a shutdown of Washington DC air defenses that left him vulnerable to a missile or air attack. The second when they hit with a psychotronic weapon on November 21. The Gnostic Illuminati military and intelligence types behind Trump have been lashing out strongly against the British royals, especially after the failed NATO summit. Pentagon sources state, the royal family saga is far from over, as Trump denies knowing, of Canada's military struggles with Prince Andrew's three colonels-in-chief titles. Then there was the undeniable satanic hand sign made by Prince Harry when he met Melania Trump on December 6. Sources close to Harry say the sign meant. He supported Lucifer, as defined by the Gnostic Illuminati. In their worldview, the current God is the evil cause of all the suffering in this world. That God needs replacement by Lucifer, a symbol of light and pleasant. Sources say, it is a jab at the divine right of rule, that places Prince Charles, and Harry's older brother William ahead of him in the line of royal succession. Harry is angry for evidence showing Charles behind the murder of his mother, Princess Diana. How was your Friday the 13th? Br'er Caleb, PhD 4. Tough times never last, tough people do.